What's up everybody, this is Jay and from Heroes of Icons. Welcome to our end of the year special, the best of 2020. I went live and nobody told me how terrible the sound was. So now I'm re-recording this. I'm going to delete the video that was on there that I did live and this will replace it. So all y'all that were there, when I was live, thank you very much, but uh, no thanks. I had to do it over. Hopefully, you can hear me pretty decent. There's not a whole lot of background sound, and it doesn't feel like I'm dying in the ocean somewhere. But anyway, it's been a pretty good 2020. I'm going to roll through this. Maybe it will be shorter than the other video, and I'm doing my top comics and such of the year and uh only the stuff that i have purchased only something that i have in hand to show you whether it be the best artist whether it be the best writer cover or whatever so here we go uh first off i'm going to do our best writer and for me uh he didn't do a whole 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 lot but he did one book perfect and that's why I picked them. And that's Joshua Williamson on The Flash. He made Barry Allen feel like a superhero. It seems like within this uh, time that we're living in right now, they don't really make superheroes to thrive. But Joshua Williamson uh, made me love loving superheroes. And his run on The Flash was phenomenal. I don't know exactly the amount of books that he did but uh from the beginning of rebirth until maybe about three months ago he did all the books for flash um if you just want to jump on and grab something i believe the uh flash year one storyline trade paperback is by uh, joshua williamson howard porter and uh really really phenomenal stuff uh run to your comic book store right now Best writer. Next up, we have Best Penciler for Ongoing Series. And I picked Dan Mora for Once and Future by Boom Studios. Dan Mora has been around for a while. I myself did not know him until I'd seen some of his work on the Power Rangers. Then I saw some of his covers for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and some of his various art for uh, variant covers for DC Comics. But um, Dan Moore is the man right now. And he gets the number one spot for best penciler of 2020. If you have not picked up Once in Future, I advise you to pick it up. Next up, we have best cover artist. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of quote-unquote great cover artists out there. But this guy, to me, is um, a phenom. He is a renaissance man. And a true illustrator in every sense of the word. He is doing uh, several covers for Marvel at the moment. He's doing Captain America. He's doing Iron Man. And he's also doing the Immortal Hulk. And our cover artist of 2020 goes to Alex Ross. And also this year he did some stunning uh, figure drawings for should I say paintings for Marvel Comics and they were entitled Timeless and these Timeless variants were just phenomenal I believe there were 32 of them and there's another one I believe up in January February of Clint Barton Hawkeye coming out he's got one more for us I believe and um this is not the most prestigious one when everybody's looking for a chang chi but if you look very closely, you can see a resemblance to none other than Bruce Lee. And that's what makes Alex Ross such a phenomenal artist and an extraordinary cover artist. Best cover artist of 2020. We've got uh, Best Penciler for Miniseries or an Event. And that goes to Pepe Laraz. Boom. He is a beast. He did uh, X of Swords, Creation, Stasis, and Destruction. 
and he is a monster. Definitely um, one of the best that Marvel has right now. They don't have him on an ongoing book. He seems to be stuck on covers and event books. And there, if you don't read X of Swords, all you need is creation, stasis, and destruction. And all of them were illustrated by K.K. Lorenz. Best penciler for a miniseries or an event. Next up, we have another cover artist. This is the best variant artist of 2020. And um, I guess everybody has their favorite. I don't really have a favorite variant artist. But for 2020, I picked this guy. And to me, he really hit it out of the ballpark. He did covers for Batgirl, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. And it's usually just the cover B. He wasn't one of those extract extract uh, cover artists that did books that you can only get, you know, for an inflated price, etc., etc. And that is Joshua Williamson. He did some extraordinary work on Wonder Woman, as you can see here. Just lovely. The stuff on Batgirl was pretty dope. I believe in uh, 2019, Ray Terra won the cover bees for Batgirl. Some of those now even go for a nice, juicy price. And this is the last cover B that he did for Aquaman. Superb work of Arthur and Mira. Love how he put the oranges in there, and it is still just a lovely palette of green and orange. He really makes it work. Quite lovely. Best variant artist of 2020. Who we have next? Uh, best new ongoing series. A lot of books came out in 2020, but not a lot of number ones from like known people. Didn't pick up a lot of stuff. I believe uh, AWA Upshot, a lot of stuff from them. A few more books from Boom, a lot of stuff from Image. And pretty much it came down to one book for me, and that was Firepower, published by Image Comics, written by Robert Kirkman, with art by Chris Samney. This book is the best. Love it, love the martial arts, love the Cartoon Network feeling. That this gives you. This is just extraordinary in every other way. And um, the only kung fu type of martial arts book out there that's really hitting home. Great home feeling with it. Family life and great fight scenes. Definitely something uh, that you should pick up. Great trade paperback. Started this. It was only 10 bucks. I bought three of them, I believe. And I gave one away. This book is just great. Uh, number one book of new series for 2020. Firepower. Yes, I have notes. I'm going to look at some covers. Uh, I picked my top 10 covers of the year. Nope. First, I forgot one book. It's a uh, best new ongoing series, obviously, from the top two. And this book uh, has caught fire. Immense amount of variants for this. Uh, it's one of the only books I have to say that the variants are equal to how good the book is. And that is Strange Academy. And this gets the uh, best new ongoing series from the big two for 2020. And this is by Scotty Young and Humberto Ramos. Young magicians and magic users learning how to use their magic properly and learning the price that magic holds for them. All right, now we're going to get into the covers. Top 10 covers of 2020. First off, I'm going to have my honorable mention. And this is Ice Cream Man number 20. The Dr. Seuss cover. You know, some nostalgic stuff. It just rings true for us. That's my honorable mention. And I believe this is by Martin Marosa. This cover right here. Ice Cream Man number 20. All right, we're going to go out top 10. Number 10, we have Empire number 4. This is the Alexander Lozano cover. Look at that. He's dry on the fire. And, people, and don't get it twisted. A lot of people uh, guess they don't know how to use slang properly or something. 
When I say fire, I don't mean that the book is expensive. I mean that the book is excellent, whether it be in writing, art, or cover. You say the book is fire, and say, oh, I can't even hold on to it. Look at it, it's hot. That's what I mean. Number nine, you have the Amazing Spider-Man number 55, the PlayStation 5 variant by Tim Song. Miles Morales is like the hottest thing right there. And this artwork is actually inside the PlayStation 5 art cover. It is reversible. And when you flip it inside out, this is some of the artwork that's on the cover for Miles Morales Spider-Man PlayStation 5. That's number nine. Number eight, we have Die Number 11 by Stephanie Hahn. Just love this red cover. D&D type art style board with the art in the interior of it. Just something about this that just sings to me. I love it. So powerful, yet she looks so sad. That's number eight. Die. Number 11 by Stephanie Hahn. Number seven. Back to the fastest man alive. We have Flash 765 by Inhuk Lee, who had done a nice run on the cover Bs for the Flash. I believe he's still doing the covers for the Flash. But this one right here, it looked like he just like stopped in mid-run to look back. Somebody called his name. And you can still see the streaks from him running and the lightning. And the face is very reminiscent. Augustine from CW's Flash. Flash 765 by Ann Huckley. Number six, we have a new book that was on hiatus for a while and now it is back. Seven to Eternity, number 14. This cover here is by Julian Trudino Tedesco and with just a few colors. He has created a really magnificent figure right there. Definitely a book to be slabbed. And all of the covers for Seven to Eternity look like movie posters. Now they have the credits down here. Just a beautiful piece of work. It's just orange, black, and white. cover that is. That was number six. Number five is Thor number six by Miguel Mercado. I got this from um, Golden Apple Comics. They also had a variant version of this. People are going crazy for the Black Winter. Galactus in his hand. Storyline kind of fell flat, but it's still a dope cover. Number five, Thor number six by Mercurio Mercado. We have uh, number four, one of my favorite books and an awesome cover. Bitter Root number eight. We have the Purple Rain homage cover by Chris Visions. This had a virgin variant, and I also do have that virgin variant, but I think it's just so much cooler. With the bitter root logo on the top. A little bit of that Prince action there. And with the steampunk, steampunk looking uh, motorcycle there. Gotta love it. That is number four on the best covers of 2020. Bitter root number eight. Top three now. Going back to my man Joshua Williamson. We have Wonder Woman 765. This is maybe one of the best ones that Williamson has done for this Wonder Woman run. It's a phenomenal piece of artwork. It looks like an oil painting. And look at her eyes. And the headband. Miraculous. And 
number three. Best cover of 2020. Joshua Williamson and Wonder Woman. Number two, we have just a straight cover by. This is the Sacred Six number five by Derek Chu. We have the monochrome virgin variant right here. And all its magnificent. Number two, top cover of 2020. Gotta love it. Number one cover for 2020 is by a very well known cover artist. And uh, this guy, I would definitely want him to do some interior sometime. And for me, comic books is all about the superhero element. And it is Mark Brooks' cover for Ten of Swords Creation. Wraparound cover. This is the best of the best. My number one cover for 2020. Mark Brooks, Ten of Swords Creation. Gonna lose that cover now, boy. Back in the bag and board, keep it safe. Keep the secret. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, that's what uh, my man said. Forgot the Gandalf. That's right. All right. I'm gonna go through the top five books. I'm not gonna do ten. Not gonna do twenty. Not as well read as everybody else. But what I did read, I got it right here. My top five books of 2020. And um, I am not an ex, uh, super fanboy of him, but he did make my list. Uh, Thor by Donny Cates and Nick Klein was a magnificent book, to say the least, this year. He had one little downfall, as I said before, that little dip with the um, Black Winter. Didn't like how he went out. Didn't like how Galactus went out. But hopefully... Donnie Cates has something good for us. And now Donald Blake is back wrecking havoc in Asgard and now on Earth. This is my number five book of 2020. Number four is The Immortal Hulk by Al Ewing and Joe Bennett. A lot of people stopped collecting this after the weird story turn of number 25, but it has definitely come back to the horror roots that the Immortal Hulk had first begun. This book is pure fire. With the covers by Alex Ross, it is phenomenal where this book is going. The vast personalities of the Incredible Hulk and Bruce Banner, how they interact with each other, and how broken of a man Bruce Banner is, and how the leader is just cutting a fool. Definitely, if you have dropped off this book, you need to pick it up before it's done. I believe uh, it's only going up to issue 50. And if you follow Joe Bennett on Instagram, I believe he gave us a preview of what will be the last wraparound cover for the Immortal Hulk. Number three. On my list. For the best books. Nope. Number four. Sorry. For the best books of 2020. Number three. This is a, a guilty pleasure of mine. And I think uh, as a collector, you should have that. And it is Far Sector from DC Comics by N. Ken Jemison and Jamal Campbell. This new Green Lantern is definitely proving her worth over there in the far sectors of space with a new type of Green Lantern ring that doesn't use a lantern battery to recharge itself. After it's depleted, it is required, I believe, uh, 72 hours or some such to recharge to get it back to 100%. Super dope. Very intriguing. Pretty much like a soap opera in space, kind of. But great art, good story. And I believe this goes up to issue 12. This is the newest issue. We have three issues of Far Sector left. That is number three the best books of 2020. And uh, my 
number two book. This book right here, I got on very late. Everybody was going wild about it. And I'm um, glad I jumped on it. Better late than never. And this is Something is Killing the Children by James Tynan and Willie Delagara. This book right here is crazy. Um, I regret not jumping on it sooner. This is definitely something that is uh, a phenom. Something extremely different, horrifyingly violent, but just a deep story. Something that we all need new in the comic book world. The number two book for 2020. Something is killing the children. My number one book. Not the book. Uh, you've seen this guy already. You don't want to see him again. My number one book is Once and Future from Boom Studios by Karen Gillen and Dan Mora. A totally different take on the Arthurian legend and English folk tale. That uh, I can't express how much this reminds me of the television show Grimm from NBC. I'm loving this book. It's got every issue, nearly every cover, except for all the covers for number one, which I'm working on. But this book right here is definitely the number one book of 2020. I believe they have two trade paperbacks out. If you haven't read it, you need to get on this. This book is pure fire. I've got uh, some sleeper hits here. Big sleeper. 2020, Lucy Claire Redemption, published by Image, and this book is written, drawn, and colored by John Upchurch. She is a vampire werewolf hunter. Well, she doesn't kill vampires. I keep saying vampires because she reminds me of Buffy. But if Buffy hunted werewolves instead of vampires, it would be this. This this book was slept on. I don't hear anybody talking about it. I don't know. No one in the combo community or Instagram community that has purchased this book. But the art is beautiful. The lore and the story is great. And it's, it's a spectacular book. Lucy Claire Redemption, Sleeper Hit of 2020. Another Sleeper Hit right here. Excellence. Published by Image Comics. This is written by uh, Brandon Thomas. With art by Carrie Randolph. And this is published under the Skybound imprint by Robert Kirkman. Just imagine hip-hop Harry Potter. Where these men have been gifted and trained as magicians to safeguard humanity. And within their society it is illegal for women to use magic. Even though there are a few. Renegades out there doing the do. Excellence from Image Comics. Another sleeper hit. Definitely need to get that. And um, throughout the year, we have done a lot of talking about comic books, a lot of buying stuff, and people have gotten their grails and this and that. But for me, the great purchase for 2020 was. This lot of Storm Riders books that I got, and this right here, this this is my grail for 2020. Storm Riders or Ting Za, 410. The Nameless Swordsman Fights His Rival. This book is phenomenal. It's one of the greatest martial arts that you will ever see and can't read. Definitely one of the best books. Better than Iron Fist, Shang-Chi, and all of that. We also have these smaller books here, more of a comic book size, but definitely almost uh, the thickness of a trade paperback. These books, super dope. Another one here, phenomenal piece of work by Wing Shing Ma, writer, artist, colorer, cover artist, he does it all. Wing Shing Ma Storm Riders was my best buy of the year. And yet one book 
Where's mom? Okay, there it is. Sorry, y'all. Gotta try to end this kind of quick. And the book of the year for 2020, no doubt, is from Marvel Comics, surprisingly. And it is the best book that Marvel has. Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky and Marco Cicero. This book is a phenom. Everybody wanted to jump on it after number 25. But from the beginning, this book is fire. And after Daredevil put back on the red, as you can see, nothing but heat. Nothing but heat right there. Daredevil, the number one phenom book of 2020. There you have it, people. That is all that I have for you right now. Probably this will be the last show of 2020. I will see you guys next year. Be safe. Have a wonderful and safe new year. And as always, I thank you. And I will see you in the new year. I'll catch you at the same bat time and at the same bat channel. Be great and do great. Peace.